So I spent a week with the Lenovo Legion Slim 7i, and so far this laptop has really impressed me. It comes with the i9 13900H and RTX 4070 with 16 gigs of RAM. What has most impressed me from a performance standpoint so far is 3D modeling. Inside of Autodesk 3ds Max, we scored a 239, PTC Creo a 262, Autodesk Maya a 357, and SolidWorks a 121. Now SOLIDWORKS is one of those programs that really does not like GeForce GPUs. However, a 121 for a 4070 is very respectable. And that means that you could do some SOLIDWORKS dabbling and definitely get away with it. Now, if you're a big time SOLIDWORKS user, I'd honestly recommend last year's model, sorry Lenovo, which comes with the AMD Radeon RX 6800S GPU. And that killed it in SOLIDWORKS because SOLIDWORKS really likes those Radeon GPUs. It's a great bang for buck if you're looking for a decently priced SOLIDWORKS laptop and you don't want to get into the NVIDIA workstation price point. That stuff's just crazy expensive. And the next thing that stood out to me was the After Effects score, an 879. And with only 16 gigs of RAM on my initial tests, I'm going to upgrade to 32 gigs for some more tests down the road. And 879 was very respectable. I was very excited to see that performance. And also inside of Photoshop, we saw a 983. Now that's pretty much middle of the road for these 2023 laptops. It's a nice medium an average, and so this thing's having great performance. Now, one thing that I love most about this laptop is they did not change it, and that might seem a little crazy for me to say, but I really feel like they nailed this laptop over the past couple of years. We have this aluminum bar wrapping the chassis, aluminum bottom cover, top cover, and an aluminum keyboard deck, and it just really works. I, I know they could have made changes to just, you know, make changes for changes sake, but I feel like in this model, that would not have been a good idea because I think they really nailed this model. Now on the back panel, we have three USB type A's. Maybe they could have swapped one of those for USB type C. That would have been a good move. HDMI and a power adapter. On the left side panel, we do have two USB type C's and a headphone jack. And on the right side panel, we have an SD card reader and a manual cutoff switch for the webcam. I just feel like this laptop really nails a lot of the key features that you need as a creator. That SD card reader is awesome. Now, one thing that I wish they would have allowed is for a dual RAM upgrade. This laptop comes with an eight gig stick soldered to the motherboard and an occupiable RAM slot that currently when you purchase a laptop comes with eight gigs of RAM. However, you can upgrade that to 16 or 32 to boost your RAM, which I will do for future tests. Speaking of things I'm not super stoked on, the B-RAW playback was 1,361 draw frames out of the 16,177 in the project. And with an i9 and an RTX 4070, that just didn't seem like the best performance I was hoping for. I'm guessing when I upgrade this laptop to say 24 gigs of RAM, we're gonna see some improvements on that, but really for an i9 and the latest 40 series from Nvidia, it was just a bit of a disappointment. Now, one thing that did impress me was a really nice export time out of Premiere Pro, two minutes and 29 seconds for the 4K export time. That's a nine minute clip put into Premiere Pro and exported out at full quality YouTube settings. And it did that in a very quick speed. The price of this laptop is another area that I'm really happy with. This is an i9 processor and an RTX 4070 in a thin and light all aluminum chassis. Thin and light for a gaming laptop, that is. And it comes in at right around the $2,000 price point. Now, that is not a cheap, budget-friendly laptop by any stretch of the imagination. But put those kind of components in really any other premium laptop and you're going to be well over the $2,000 price point. So they fit this much performance and this much flexibility, this much color gamut range into a laptop of this quality. I think it is at a great price. Now, if you want to check the live pricing, I'll put links in the description below. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Click or tap the screen here for more videos about the Legion Slim 7. I'll see you in the next one.